get scared by see, seeing this diagram. The first table at, at the center is a movie table. And the movie table is connected with the movie cast. And the movie table is connected with uh, the direction table. It is, connect, it is also connected with movie, uh, its rating and many moves, right? So basically how these tables are connected with each other. This is a diagram of that. So data flows from table to table or like this way, how we, we, have, we have to make the mapping so that the table should be interconnected with each other. It should not be independent. So basically, why I'm showing you this diagram? Because in your drive test, placement drive test, or your, uh, you know, in the corporation, in the world, in the IT sector, whenever you are, wherever you are going, you, you will be either given a mapping or you will be either provided with uh, this, uh, you know, the diagram. So, so basically, you need to understand the flow. Now, suppose if I ask you, fetch me the actor name and the director name who has worked together. So what you'll do? Here is the actor class. Here is the actor class. And here is the director class. So basically what you'll do? First identify whether these two, uh, two classes are interconnected with each other. So as you can see, these two classes are not at all interconnected with each other. So basically these classes, how they are connected? They are connected they are connected with movie cast, then movie, then the movie will come to the movie direction, then movie direction is going to director. So as I, I noticed, like to go to, to fetch the director and actor, the both, or to club together both the, uh, you know, uh, classes or the both table, what I have to do? I have to, you know, go through movie, movie cast, movie movie direction and director so basically i have to join how, how many table here is the second catch you got to know what are the what are the uh, rows what are the columns you have to fetch act underscore i name and dir underscore i name so select atc act act i name comma dir f name okay now the second catch from where from actor actor will be joining with cast cast will be joining with movie movie will be joining with movie director and movie director will be joining with director got my point but which join i should use there's a question so i should have a good knowledge on join so that's what we are going to do in the next next lecture. We'll cover the join part. Now you understood, right? Why we use join? Because I wanted to fetch the result from actor and director. And actor and director are not connected with each other directly. So I'm going to use one join. And that join will be joining four table at a time. Not four. The actor table one, movie cast, movie, uh, movie direction and director. Five table it is going to join. Right now, here's the cache. Like, this is a straightforward question. Just fetch the name of these two, and you have to just simply join these. There is no business logic like where clause, where director is something called, or is equal to, is equal to. They, we are not going to implement any operators or operation over here. It will be very straightforward join, and that join will be giving me the result of act name and BIR name. Now, one thing I want you to, I just take a screenshot of this SQL operator. I, there is nothing to teach in SQL operator. You are not at all in first year, second year, third year. I'm assuming nobody is in first year, second year. Just take a screenshot and just go through this. What is operator? What is automatic operator? And here everybody know what is op automatic operator here. What is comparison operator? Who doesn't know what is comparison operator? What is bitwise operator? Means these are very basics here. I cannot make a separate video on and I'll start teaching you what is SQL operator. So this will be a waste of your time and you know my energy as well. Take a screenshot and just re-go through this. How many logical operators are there? How many automatic op operators are there? Take a screenshot and you are good to go. Now the functions. How many functions we have in 
SQL. We'll cover it while we're doing the questions. Now we'll cover each and everything and you will learn it. It's not at all a rocket science. So there is a count function. There is a sum function. There is a, if, if I talk about aggregate function, we have sum function. We have count function. We have max function. We have min function. These are basically function. We have abstract. We have cell. We have floor. We have x, mod, power, square root. Just take a screenshot. Whenever it is required, make use of it. There is nothing to ratification. Ratne, vatne ka kuch nahi karna hai. Or uh, just a humble request. Itna deep mein jane ki zarurat nahi hai. It's not at all a rocket science. If you will follow my lecture, then you will definitely get to know how easy it is to, you know, to, you know, understand the SQL. It's very easy. Trust me, it's very easy. So the next lecture will be completely based on the joins. How many joins are there? How to join table? So thank you for watching. Thank you guys. Hope this video was helpful for you. If it was helpful for you, don't forget to press thumbs up.